Hello everyone. Thanks for joining us for the 2023 Summer Enrollment presentation. Today we're going to discuss Summer Enrollment Basics, what's new this year, your options, and how to make changes. Throughout today's presentation, I'll refer to the Active Employee Summer Enrollment Guide and provide you with the page numbers where you can find more information about what we're discussing. If you receive the Retirees and Family Summer Enrollment Guide, your page numbers will differ, but the same information is still available. You'll just need to look through it. Summer Enrollment is your chance to make benefit changes without a qualifying life event. During Summer Enrollment, you can enroll in a benefit you don't currently have. Some optional coverage requires evidence of insurability, and approval is not guaranteed. We'll discuss those benefit options a little later in the presentation. Switch from a plan you currently have to another plan or end enrollment in a benefit. Add or drop dependents. Summer enrollment elections are effective September 1st. Any changes that do not require evidence of insurability begin on September 1st. Just like in previous years, summer enrollment is broken up into four phases. This helps to keep things running as efficiently as possible for you during a very busy time of year for ERS. Please make your changes during your summer enrollment phase. The quickest and easiest way to make changes is by logging into your ERS online account. Where can you find summer enrollment information? You can find information in your personal benefits enrollment statement that is mailed to you before your summer enrollment phase. You can read your summer enrollment guide that you receive with your personal benefits enrollment statement. You can view the summer enrollment webpage. And then finally, you can speak to your benefits coordinator. Every year before your summer enrollment phase, ERS mails you your personal benefits enrollment statement, PBES. It is important that you read this document. The front of your PBS details the dates your summer enrollment phase starts and ends, coverage you are enrolled in, including up to three of your dependents enrolled in coverage, and monthly cost of your current coverage effective September 1st. If you have more than three dependents enrolled in coverage and do not see the dependents in your PBS, you can log in into your ERS online account to verify their coverage. The other pages of your PBS will provide you with all of the options available to you. If you want to make changes, please make them during your assigned phase. You can log into your ERS online accounts or you can ask your benefits coordinator to make changes on your behalf. If you don't need to add dependents or make changes to the current coverage shown on the front of your PBS, you don't need to do anything. Your coverage remains the same. Be sure to take a look at your total monthly costs effective September 1st. Any changes to premiums that are effective September 1st will come out of your October paycheck because state employees are paid in arrears. Let's talk about some upcoming changes. Starting September 1st, 2023, IMED Vision Care LLC will be the new administrator of the State of Texas Vision Program. Starting January 1st, 2024, Express Scripts will be the new administrator of the Prescription Drug Program. More information on the Pharmacy Benefits Manager change will be available in November, December. See the insert in your Summer Enrollment Packet in page 2 for more information on all the upcoming changes. The IRS establishes the maximum annual limit applicable to flexible spending accounts and carryover amounts. For plan year 2024, if you have a healthcare or a limited purpose FSA, you will be able to set aside up to $3,050 for the year through monthly tax redductions from your paycheck. The maximum contribution for dependent care FSAs remains the same at $5,000 for the year. The carryover amount for healthcare and limited purpose FSAs is increasing. If you have a healthcare or limited purpose FSA in plan year 2024, you can carry over up to $610 from plan year 2024, ending August 31st, 2024, to plan year 2025, starting September 1st, 2025. Let's take a look at what is changing to your health insurance benefits. The Health Select of Texas and Consumer Directed Health Select Health Plan's total annual in-network out-of-pocket maximums, medical and pharmacy combined, will increase to $7,500 per individual, up from $7,050, and $15,000 per family, 
up from $14,100 to align with the IRS maximums. This change is effective January 1, 2024. Since 2018, ERS held plan premiums have not increased more than 1% and we have not decreased coverage. This is because of continued financial support from the state and ERS's cost management efforts. ERS uses experienced third-party health plan administrators to help keep costs down and maintain high-quality coverage for GBP participants. It's important to know your options. The Summer Enrollment Guide mailed to you with your PBS provides you with information about the benefits available to you. For a more in-depth look at your optional benefits, please watch the Know Your Optional Benefits presentation. The presentation can be found on our Summer Enrollment page and the ERS YouTube channel. It is also available for download. Today, we'll give you an overview of the benefits that are available to you. You have already completed the Dependent Child Certification process, Dependent Eligibility Verification, or the Tobacco Use Certification for yourself and the dependents currently enrolled, you don't have to complete it again. If you enroll a new dependent in coverage during summer enrollment, you'll need to complete a few extra steps. If you enroll new dependent children in any GVP coverage during summer enrollment, you'll need to complete the dependent child certification. You won't be able to enroll your dependent children until the certification is complete. The dependent eligibility verification is separate from the dependent child certification. This process must be completed if you enroll a new dependent in health insurance coverage. Once ERS processes your dependents enrollment in health coverage, Alight Solutions, our third-party administrator, will send you a letter outlining the steps in the verification process, the names of the dependents being verified, the types of documents to provide, and the due dates to submit documentation. You must respond to the letter or your dependents will be dropped from all coverage. All GBP health insurance plan participants must also certify their status as tobacco users or non-users, whether you use it or not. If you don't certify your tobacco use status, the system automatically defaults your status and the status of your enrolled dependents to yes, and you will be charged the applicable monthly tobacco user premium, even if you don't use tobacco. See page four of the Active Employee Summer Enrollment Guide for more information. First, let's discuss your health plan options. You can enroll in Health Select of Texas or Consumer Directed Health Select, regardless of where you live or work. Pages five through eight of your summer enrollment guide have more information about all of the health plans and prescription drug coverage. The health plans comparison chart details the difference in coverage for each plan. Do you already have health insurance? You have the option to waive your health insurance or elect the health insurance opt-out credit. Keep in mind that your prescription drug benefits and basic term life insurance are a part of your health benefit. By waiving coverage, you are also giving up your prescription drug and basic term life insurance coverage. The opt-out credit works differently than waiving your health insurance. The opt-out credit is designed for employees and retirees who don't require the state's health insurance because they are enrolled in other health insurance that is as good as or better than what the state provides, excluding Medicare coverage. If you elect the opt-out credit, you waive your health, prescription, and basic term life insurance coverage and receive a credit of up to $60, $30 for part-time employees, towards dental coverage, State of Texas Vision, and or voluntary accidental death and dismemberment. If you do not use the entire $60 or $30 credit, the unused portion cannot be refunded. You cannot participate in the opt-out credit if you're not eligible for the state contribution toward your health insurance premium, such as a COBRA participant, surviving family member, or an adjunct faculty member. You also have the option of enrolling in dental and or vision coverage. You must be enrolled to enroll eligible dependents. Dependents cannot be enrolled in a different dental plan than you, but they can have different primary care dentists. You can choose between one of two dental plans, State of Texas Dental Choice Plan or Delta Care USA DHMO. The State of Texas Dental Choice Plan is a preferred provider organization dental insurance plan. Participants are not required to designate a primary care dentist and can see any dentist that takes PPO dental plans. 
Delta Care USA DHMO is a dental health maintenance organization insurance plan that requires designating and using a primary care dentist. You may also choose to enroll in State of Texas Vision administered by IMED effective September 1st, 2023. If you are considering enrolling in one of these plans, we invite you to take a look at pages 9 through 11 of your summer enrollment guide, visit the ERS website to the dental and vision comparison charts, and enroll in the dental and or vision benefits Q&A session. If you missed the session, you can find a recording of the plan's presentation on the plan's website. Website addresses are listed in the back of the summer enrollment guide. TexFlex Flexible Spending Accounts do you have out-of-pocket health care and dependent care expenses? If so, you may want to consider enrolling in TaxFlex. TaxFlex is a tax savings program regulated by the IRS and available to active employees. It lets you set aside pre-tax money from your paycheck to use towards eligible out-of-pocket expenses and lowers your taxable income. With the TexFlex Healthcare FSA and Limited Purpose FSA, you can contribute an annual maximum of $3,050 per participant. Funds are available on a TexFlex debit card on September 1st. Healthcare FSAs can be used for eligible health, dental, vision, and prescription expenses. Limited Purpose FSAs are available only to members enrolled in Consumer Directed Health Select and can be used only for eligible dental and vision expenses. The TexFlex Dependent Care FSA allows you to save up to $5,000 pre-tax annually for eligible dependent care expenses. However, the TexFlex debit card can't be used to pay for eligible dependent care expenses. Depending on your needs, you can enroll in one or more accounts. You do not need to enroll in a health plan or other coverage to enroll in an FSA. See pages 12 through 13 of the Active Employee Summer Enrollment Guide for more information. The next benefit we're going to discuss is life insurance. Optional term life insurance options are different for employees and retirees. If you're an active employee, you may choose coverage from one to four times your annual salary, up to $400,000. Election one, the coverage amount is equal to your annual salary. Election two, two times your annual salary. Election three, three times your annual salary. Or election four, four times your annual salary. If you enroll in or increase your optional term life insurance, you will need to initiate the evidence of insurability process online and complete the EOI application. We'll talk more about the EOI process in just a moment. Retirees not currently enrolled in optional term life insurance can apply for the retiree $10,000 fixed optional life insurance through the EOI process. This benefit isn't available to active employees. Dependent term life insurance is an option available for both employees and retirees. This benefit pays you in the event your dependent passes away. EOI is required and must be approved for this coverage. If you have dependents already enrolled in this coverage, you don't have to submit EOI. Their coverage would continue into the new plan year. See page 15 of the Summer Enrollment Guide. Another option you have is voluntary AD&D insurance. This coverage provides additional protection for you and your family in the event of an accidental death or certain accidental injuries. Because this benefit is only paid if there is an accident, EOI is not required for this coverage. Have you gotten married, divorced, had children, or adopted a child since the last time you updated your beneficiaries? If so, don't forget to reevaluate your beneficiaries. If you need to change beneficiaries or update your current beneficiaries information, you can do this anytime during the year. Summer enrollment isn't the only opportunity. It's important that you complete the process when designating or updating your beneficiaries. You will receive an authorization form by email if you have one on file or by mail if you don't have an email address on file. You must sign the form and send it back to ERS. Be sure to follow the instructions on the form. Right now is the time to think about disability insurance if you're not already enrolled in it. According to the Texas State Government Effectiveness and Efficiency Report, almost one-third of U.S. workers will become disabled for at least three months. 
Many U.S. workers don't have enough savings to cover six months of living expenses, and 28% don't have any money saved to replace lost income. Short-term and or long-term disability coverage through TIP is a benefit for active employees and it pays you a portion of your salary when you can't work due to an injury or sickness. Short-term disability insurance coverage provides a maximum benefit of 66% of your monthly salary, up to $10,000 of a monthly salary, or $6,600, whichever is less for up to five months. Long-term disability insurance coverage provides a maximum benefit of 60% of your monthly salary, up to $10,000 of monthly salary, or $6,000, whichever is less, for a period ranging from 12 months to full Social Security retirement age, depending on your age at the time of disability. It's important to know that this is not health insurance. This income protection benefit provides income to eligible participants who cannot work due to a qualifying event. You will need to submit EOI and be approved before you can enroll in the plan. EOI approval is not guaranteed. See page 16 of the Active Employee Summer Enrollment Guide. ERS will host sessions online as we have done for the past two years. ERS is hosting benefits Q&A sessions for all active employees and retirees. These sessions will include a brief presentation about each plan with plenty of time to ask questions. During the webinar, members can send questions through the questions feature to a plan representative. Sign up to take part in a benefits Q&A session with Health Select of Texas, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Texas, Consumer Directed Health Select, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Texas, and Optum Bank. Health Select Prescription Drug Program, OptumRx, Dental, Delta Dental will speak about both plans, State of Texas Vision, IMED, Texas Income Protection Plan, Short-Term and Long-Term Disability, Read Group, Life and ad and Insurance, Securian, TaxFlex, PayFlex. How do you register? You can register to attend benefits Q&A sessions by visiting our website, www.ers.texas.gov. There will be a summer enrollment link at the top of our site. Click on the link to view the webinar calendar. The calendar lists all of the Q&A sessions scheduled for each week of summer enrollment. Choose the Q&A session you want to attend and register with an email address. ERS will host morning and afternoon sessions to accommodate all who wish to join. All ERS and vendor slideshows are available on the summer enrollment site as well. In addition to our webinars, ERS benefits educators will be traveling across the state to state agencies to provide information to members seeking to enroll in or change insurance coverage. Members will also have the opportunity to visit with ERS benefit educators and GBP administrators in person to get answers to their benefit questions. You can find a complete fair schedule on page 19 of the Summer Enrollment Guide. When you decide on the changes you want to make, you can do it online, contact your benefits coordinator, or give us a call during your two-week enrollment phase. Summer enrollment is a busy time of year for ERS. If you need to make changes to your coverage, the quickest and easiest way to make changes is by logging into your ERS account and make your summer enrollment elections online. It's fast, you'll receive confirmation of your requested changes via email if your email address is on file, otherwise the confirmation is mailed to you. You want to keep this confirmation for your records. Visit ers.texas.gov to log into your online account. The ERS website also has information on the plans available to you and your dependents, including links to all of the plan administrator's websites. If you don't have access to your online account, please contact your agency's benefits coordinator to make changes on your behalf. If you don't have a benefits coordinator, call ERS toll-free at 866-399-6908. Summer enrollment is a busy time, so we extended our hours to Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. Central Time. Please note, ERS hold times can be long, especially during the summer. If you need general information, you may want to refer to the ERS website, talk with your benefits coordinator, or call your plan's customer service number. 
If you have questions, there are several places you can look to find answers about your benefit options. If you have a question about today's presentation, send your questions to webinars at ers.texas.gov. Have you missed a Q&A session or ERS webinar? Maybe you forgot to attend or just didn't have time in your schedule. You can visit our ERS Summer Enrollment page at ers.texas.gov slash summer hyphen enrollment and find links to view all of the planned presentations, including today's. We will have links to all of the Q&A presentations in video and or PDF form. You can watch this very presentation on YouTube on the ERS channel. Are you looking to contact a specific plan to ask about coverage and your benefit options? You can find all of the contact information on page 17 of your summer enrollment guide. You can also find links to each plan's webpage by visiting ers.texas.gov. Our homepage has links to all plan websites. Throughout the year, ERS offers different retirement and insurance webinars. These webinars give you general information on your retirement and your insurance benefits. You can view the ERS events calendar to register for a webinar that fits your needs. Your plan's website has recorded videos that explains the plan's benefits. Visit the plan's website for more information. Each quarter, Texas Saver hosts a webinar to go over the benefits. You can visit the ERS events calendar to register for a webinar. We want to thank the ERS staff, program representatives, and our members for joining us today and making this summer enrollment successful.